वो सिकंदर ही दोस्तों कहलाता है Now we'll have to imagine all of them are elevate now customers. Okay. So who will do the most bargain out of the three? Most bargain. Uh, who do you think uh, you know out of the three would actually uh, ask you for the most uh, cheat days? होते हैं ना hmm. plan में कि हमें सबसे ज़्यादा cheat days देना कि transformation सबसे ज़्यादा किसकी होगी जल्दी? Basically amongst the three I am stingy. Uh, <laughs> Others have good things about them. Abhi to dekh lo ab samne ho aap teenon ka lekin ek ek answer diya so can you drop me somewhere? <laughs> Continue it with him later. Continue kar lo. What a studio does is uh, probably at the other extreme. Hmm. Uh you can pretty much call a venture studio a second co-founder or a third co-founder for a company. Oh really? Yes. So hi audience uh, welcome to Karnama. an honest podcast the idea is to have great conversations honest conversations yet make it fun we promise and uh, yeah let's see what karnama these guys are doing <laughs> so want to introduce namit from w health uh, he calls himself an accidental vc so we'll love to know more but w health itself is a 100 million dollar early stage uh, healthcare focused fund and you'd love to know more about that as well as the new studio they have come up with 2070 so let's take the conversation going and um, namit welcome yeah. to the show thanks thanks again chetan uh, i mean i would like to call myself an operator we see not accidental one okay. uh, but maybe i can give a little bit background about my career journey so far and what we are doing at w health ventures and 2070 health uh, which is our venture studio okay that'd uh, be great yeah so quickly about me started uh, spent 6 years in consulting mm-hmm. uh, doing healthcare due diligence for private equity clients mm-hmm. uh, saw the first wave of healthcare revolution in india which was largely around uh, uh, multi specialty hospitals mm-hmm. diagnostic chains this was which year uh, this is 2011 to 2016 okay so, so you were involved back then yeah i started i i've been doing healthcare all my Uh, pretty much all my life. Yeah. Stayed uh, out of school. I actually stayed out of school. I joined Infosys, which most people don't know. I was an engineer, a techie. Okay. Uh, very quickly realized in in less than two years, I realized that uh, I will probably not be able to make a career uh, in coding. Okay. So moved to finance. Okay. Uh, without having without having any formal degree in finance. Really? And How did that happen? Very interesting. So that was before your ISB or that's after? That's way way before ISB. I have done consulting mostly pre uh, pre MBA, uh, which is again mm-hmm. uh, not 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 uh, a path that many people take. Correct. correct. So right out of Infi, I moved to uh, Crisil, mm-hmm. uh, which is an S N P subsidiary mm-hmm. in India, and okay. there I joined the healthcare consulting practice. Okay. And this was 2000. This was 2011. Okay. And then from 11 to 16, I worked uh, in consulting. For five years, as I said, uh, first wave of healthcare expansion in India, yeah. with hospitals, diagnostic chains, insurance companies, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of uh, you know late stage P diligences, yeah. uh, which was starting out in two thousand fourteen fifteen era. Correct. So mm-hmm. I thought I'll just quickly get my formal degree, move to investing more on the venture side. Okay. Uh, did that went to ISB uh, and then moved into investing. Okay. Uh, was with Lok Capital, mm-hmm. a growth venture capital fund. Continued my healthcare journey. I think the the shift with Lok as well. With Lok. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the the shift that had happened was mm-hmm. healthcare had moved to single specialty by that point Correct. in time. Correct. From yeah. multi specialty tertiary mm-hmm. care hospitals. Now I was largely focusing on uh, eye care, uh, diabetes, mm-hmm. dental, uh, mm-hmm. all the single specialties, which kind of were. Making a dent, we're coming out of the hospital setups, yeah. uh, largely scalable models. Okay. So we started as two people, and then very quickly added another one, uh, Tushar, whom you already know. Correct. Uh, so the three of us were pretty much uh, together. I have have been for the last two and a half, three years. Oh, lovely. Trying to put together things. So built out the team and uh-huh. done a bunch of investments uh-huh. uh, since then. Yeah. Uh, so continued doing that, and then then sometime last year we realized. That uh, see, building in healthcare is hard. It's mm-hmm. super complex. Mm-hmm. It's too many stakeholders Correct. requires in-depth sector understanding. Yeah. And uh, founders were still chasing, I would say, uh, the obvious bets around mm-hmm. e-pharmacy, mm-hmm. Uh, digitizing existing clinical workflows, mm-hmm. uh, some amount of diagnostic. But so you're not seeing a lot of innovation. I, I wasn't seeing. We weren't seeing a lot of innovation mm-hmm. and. Uh, 
we wanted to address that part because mm-hmm. healthcare is a nation building agenda and Correct. someone has to do that so especially in a country like india right absolutely absolutely and then then we you know kind of uh, saw what was happening in the west mm-hmm. uh, venture studios mm-hmm. have been emerging for a while have been operating for a while yeah. and we decided to start mm-hmm. one ourselves yeah uh, wherein we want to start companies from scratch mm-hmm. uh, obviously along with the founders yeah. so the the concept is slightly I'll, i'll probably take a couple of minutes just to explain so that absolutely the yeah, audience, yeah i was going to ask like how do you you know uh, make a difference between venture studio accelerator or a vc like yeah. how are these different i think everybody would love to know that no absolutely i think it's something that uh, i i get asked pretty much uh, yeah. on a day to day basis yeah. so this is a fantastic opportunity to explain it once again yeah Uh, I think venture capital is fairly straightforward. It's a vehicle wherein uh, people invest capital, mm-hmm. try and support their portfolio companies and several things. Yeah. Um, uh, we even at the VC uh, stage, we are pretty hands-on. Uh, mm-hmm. Try to spend forty percent time with our portfolio companies mm-hmm. uh, on on things like hiring, strategic decision making, right. healthcare, clinical work. Right. Because the team is also structured. Like I've done healthcare for all my career. Pankaj, yeah. who is my partner, is yeah. a doctor himself. Mm-hmm. the other team members are also pretty much healthcare okay so we sometimes i mean there are certain areas where we mm-hmm. uh, we think that we can add value and yeah. we try to yeah. so um, that's on the vc side that's mm-hmm. what a vc does invest capital mm-hmm. uh, help support companies Correct. in several things then kind of move even on. though now vcs are a lot more involved as you said yes. yes across different things but that's still subset of that's correct you know uh, correct. what studio will do yes right? So that's VC. I think accelerator and incubator is a uh, one category where uh, I think they they engage with companies uh, pretty early, uh, yeah. wherein they are still trying to find out what's their minimum viable product. Correct. Uh, the support is limited to one or two things. Mm-hmm. Uh, one I would say is largely around uh, you know opening some B two B doors, yeah. validating the product if if the if the company is in a stage of MVP. Yeah. uh probably once they graduate a little bit mm-hmm. uh, do a demo day mm-hmm. uh, expose them to a few investors yeah. uh give some advice yeah. uh maybe help them set up mm-hmm. their co-working spaces mm-hmm. uh, or help them set up inside institutions like the right. IITs and the IIMs right. so that's that's something which an incubator or an accelerator does yeah um what a studio does is uh, probably at the other extreme mm-hmm. uh you can pretty much call a venture studio a second co-founder or a third co-founder for a company oh really yes okay. that's so, a good way to put it yeah and yeah. and uh, just just if i were to explain mm-hmm. the entire life cycle of venture building the mm-hmm. first is the research or the thesis building part which Correct. also the venture studio starts with yeah uh do a little bit of work uh 3 4 weeks of work done mm. have a conviction that we want to build in a certain space mm. and then get an entrepreneur in residence yeah. into the system who yeah. he or she then works with us yeah. uh, for the next 4 to 5 months just carving out the problem statement understanding mm. what's going wrong what's the status quo yeah. uh why do we need to build this what's okay. the real opportunity what's the solution going to be even yeah. if we were to build something is it 10x better than what the market already has to offer mm-hmm. uh is it first to market yeah uh, is there enough demand and supply issues mm-hmm. that we are trying to address so we have this framework that we try to kind of work towards and say okay these are the gaps and then mm-hmm. let's build a company here and it's a it's a process which is super iterative requires thousands of conversations mm-hmm. with uh, key opinion leader leaders uh, with patients with consumers uh what's happening in the western world mm-hmm. so all that goes into a thesis building okay and at that point in time when we have conviction that yeah this is looking great mm-hmm. we take it to our investment committee mm-hmm. and then we kind of put in capital okay. and incubate the company finally and then the capital comes from wl yes okay. the capital the first check comes from the fund from the fund okay. uh wherein we want to give companies uh, you know 12 to 18 months of runway for mm-hmm. them to build it out Okay. and i think that's when the that's when the other parts of the venture studio kick mm-hmm. into the picture mm-hmm. uh what we have is a product and a tech team so yeah. we have a we have a tech stack mm-hmm. uh a customer uh, crm clm mm-hmm. uh ehr emr mm-hmm. all those tools which any healthcare startup would need are kind of built out okay. so all these companies from day zero can start using it okay uh then we have a go to market team which helps uh, unlock new distribution mm-hmm. uh, channels for healthcare and mm-hmm. see healthcare is very trust based correct uh you need to kind of distribute it close, yeah. take it closer to the consumer uh do stuff which can help them 
reach out to these startups versus yeah. not uh, your run of the mill doctors right correct so that's the second element the go to market team has done it it's it's mm. uh, a bunch of ex operators mm. uh, ex founders who are running this team okay then there's a growth marketing team around social media performance okay. anything that any company would anyway end up doing okay. rather than outsourcing it to an agency i think we are trying to build out an yeah. internal team because that it builds repeatability in the process yeah. of venture building which means that every subsequent venture mm. that we build out yeah. uh, that journey will be that much faster mm. uh, we will not make the same mistakes correct uh, we will bring repeatability mm. and hence it's it should be slightly more efficient the next time we do it okay uh, and then we have an in-house talent team which mm. helps hire uh, not just the founders but also founding teams full stack full that stack full so stack you support. i mean just to just to give you some number uh. in the last one and a half years mm. the talent team has sourced 50000 candidates for healthcare uh, these are entrepreneur in residences these mm. are uh, uh, founding team members chiefs yeah. of staff product yeah. tech engineering teams yeah uh, so i think by far trying to build one of the biggest talent ecosystem in healthcare okay and seems uh, like yeah i mean time will tell but yeah those are those no, are some buckets yeah, yeah. those are some buckets and the intent is to uh, build companies mm. which are addressing a large clinical white space okay uh, wherein uh, we want to and we want to build them profitably we want mm. to scale them uh, and raise external capital validate them faster mm. so the promise to our founders is can we can you build with us mm. companies uh, in a faster cheaper better manner yeah. so that's the promise and also that we kill do the idea if it doesn't work kill right? the idea at yeah. the idea stage itself even yeah. before starting the company yeah uh, so do it do it in a, a very frugal manner uh-huh. because the ideas are dime a dozen we yeah. have thousands of ideas right. today right. Uh, not everything will become a scalable venture correct so kill ideas with 95% conviction mm. uh, that's what we do uh, for every you know for every one idea we are killing 100 yeah really so it's it's the opportunity cost at the end of the day so you correct. yeah i think that's that's the venture studio model uh, for all these services we don't charge our founders uh, okay. capital i mean obviously we have taken equity stakes okay and um, that's that's really the in in a nutshell the venture studio model where you okay. build companies from scratch and then support yeah. them for the first 12 to 18 months across yeah. these 6 seven functions i spoke about correct uh, which can help them kind of scale and once they hit pmf uh, by then you know they build out their own teams the correct. the the business is mature yeah. and then they pretty much uh, will be on their own but yeah. studio support is available for as long as they need the first company that you got into like what did they have and what did you look for in those people Yeah I think uh, two or three things which are very relevant for any founder in general but more so for uh, more so for the studio founders uh, is one zero to one mindset or yeah. thinking uh, so tackling problems head on yeah because uh, everything fails on a day to day basis in a startup yeah. so you got to have that courage to deal with them head on correct I think that's number one. Yeah. Uh, so some out of zero to one that they should have done in their prior careers uh, or in their roles that they were a part of. Yeah. Second, at least one scale experience. Okay. Uh, because both of them are relevant. Because zero to one and one to ten would require a slightly different mindset. Yeah. Uh, so once they start working with us after we have done some work, yeah. you kind of understand mm-hmm. whether there is a founder thesis or a founder market fit or okay. not. So. the intent That's is really obviously for you to decide right yes and then also i mean people have their back stories and yeah. you will you will hear from suryansh why he's uh-huh. uh, building an obesity management with us okay. uh, there is a back story that he would have yeah uh, so personal resonance uh, uh-huh. is obviously uh, it's it's i would say needless to say it's implicit yeah. Yeah. uh so those are two or three things that become uh, super important hmm. uh, so yeah we have a rapid fire for you namit that's uh, just focusing on you So now you'll have to be really quick because it's called rapid fire. Yeah. So let's see how you answer this, and uh, we'll start with the first one. Any company you regret not investing in? I mean, there must be more, but name one. What's the top one that comes to your mind? So there's one called Vori. Okay. Uh, in the US. Okay. And there's one in India which is Blue Tokai. Oh, Blue Tokai. Okay. And then I should ask you the next question because I was going to ask, uh, what is your favorite coffee? You know the answer. You saw me drinking this morning, so it is by so, far Blue Tokai. So let's remove Blue Tokai from it. And uh, preventive health versus reactive health. What VCs like more, or you like more? 
Uh, I mean, it's hard. It's it can't yeah. be an objective answer. Uh, I mean, top of the mind. Sometimes you just feel like I I, I think right now reactive. Okay, reactive. Got it. I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, uh, Delhi versus Bangalore versus Mumbai now. Now that you've stayed in all the three, <laughs> which city is healthiest? Now we'll put you on the spot. Healthiest is Mumbai. Mumbai. Yeah. Okay. And best food? Bangalore. अच्छा गुड़गांव वालों देख लो तो एंड बेस्ट इको सिस्टम हो रहा बैंगलोर दैट्स बैंगलोर फॉर श्योर या आई थिंक वी आर चेंजिंग दैट वी चेंज ट्राइंग टू चेंज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ दैट या इन दिल्ली वी आई मीन वी आर बिकॉज़ यू आर बिंग सम थिंग्स यस या ओके गुड टू नो आई थिंक वी आर डूइंग दिस इन दिल्ली सो वन थिंग दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू चेंज फॉर श्योर वन गिल्ड फूड मूंग दाल हलवा मूंग दाल हलवा आई लाइक दैट What about the hair? Do we, is it too for an effect or really? मतलब grey है कि करा हुआ है grey. नहीं नहीं it's natural. <laughs> yeah, I think it's all the stress. <laughs> Why the stress? When now being a healthcare VC, how do you balance that on a serious note as well? Like I mean, you need to spend a little bit of time uh, on your health. Um, yeah. So every morning, I I definitely try, mm-hmm. or at least four five times a week. Mm-hmm. I mean, you need to focus on yoga, meditation, workout. Yeah. Yeah. Mix of all these things is going to be. Is it just everything? everything? What works for you usually? I know you told the MMA story. Uh, I think um, uh, strength plus cardio training okay. works best okay. for now. Mm-hmm. I have done a bit of yoga mm-hmm. in the past. I for some reason are I'm I'm more mm-hmm. on strength and core cardio strength right now. Strength and core right now. Okay, good to know. Hey Ramad. Hello sir. Hey Suryansh. Good morning. Hey, good to see you. Long. Sorry for this awkward setup, but uh, <laughs> trust me, we'll make it fun. <laughs> so, uh, welcome Suryansh to the show. Suryansh is the founder of Elevate Now, one of the first company coming out of Studio 2070. And uh, lovely to have you here. And uh, also, would love to know first, ki uh, you know, how's Elevate Now helping people lose weight now? Sure, sure, sure. So, Elevate Now is a tell us a little more, yeah. Sure. So, Elevate Now is a doctor-guided weight loss program. Mm-hmm. Uh, the core concept is to understand the root cause of weight gain mm-hmm. or uh, the stubbornness to not being able to lose weight. Correct. And uh, solve that problem. So, from a fundamental perspective, mm-hmm. uh, in India, people believe that uh, you eat less mm-hmm. and you work out, mm-hmm. and that's it. Yeah. Uh, बंदा मोटा है यार बहुत खाता है यार ये हाँ. तभी मोटा है ये हाँ, हाँ, हाँ. समोसे आए नहीं नहीं भाई इससे दूर रखो हाँ, हाँ. इसका तो और वजन बढ़ेगा राइट सो समवेयर दैट इज द एसेंस ऑफ इट एंड द एग्जिस्टिंग स्टार्टअप हैव कॉट ऑन टू दैट सेम एसेंस सो ऑल द स्टार्टअप दैट यू हैव इन द वेट लॉस स्पेस दे आर ऑन सेंग विल गेट यू डाइट विल गेट यू एक्सरसाइज एंड देन यू डू इट राइट तो समवेयर द प्रॉब्लम इज इज अट मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स दैन जस्ट सेंग के यार खाना सही खा लो और एक्सरसाइज कर लो और वजन कम हो जाएगा वी हैव हंड्रेड ऑफ पीपल जो शायद दिन में एक या दो रोटी पूरे दिन में खाते हैं सौ किलो से ऊपर वजन है बेचारे परेशान बैठे हैं यार कुछ हो ही नहीं रहा मेरे को अब उनको क्या बोलूंगा तुम खाना ज्यादा खाते हो राइट एंड एंड यू टॉक टू पीपल एंड यूल फाइंड यार देर इज Uh, this aspect of uh, just from a problem statement mm-hmm. perspective this mm-hmm. is what it is now mm-hmm. if you look at it fundamentally body mein different different aspects hain mm-hmm. aapke metabolism ke mm-hmm. uh, there is a balance that uh, hypothalamus in your brain mm-hmm. gets in in terms of saying kab bhook lagni chahiye yeah. kitna khana chahiye aur yeah. pet bhar gaya ji yeah. wo balance bigadta hai yeah. बहुत बहुत कारणों से वो बैलेंस भी करता है दैट इज वन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट सम पीपल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ क्रेविंग फॉर सर्टेन टाइप्स ऑफ फूड सेइंग यार ये तो खाना ही है मुझे अच्छा दो घंटे में मैं खाती ही रहती हूँ तो वो एक एंगल हो जाता है फिर यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल सोते नहीं है ढंग से नींद जल्दी खुल जाती है एंड अ लॉट ऑफ फिटनेस कंपनीज आर नाउ फोकसिंग ऑन सेंग बॉडी रिकवर करनी चाहिए अब वो रिकवर करनी चाहिए बॉडी हेल्दी होने के लिए भी नहीं आप रिकवर नहीं करोगे तो आपका फैट भी नहीं ब्रेक करेगा इट विल नॉट हैपन फॉर यू लार्जली बिकॉज इफ इफ द बॉडी इज नॉट रिकवरिंग इट्स एन अलर्ट स्टेट अलर्ट स्टेट में बॉडी इज ट्राइंग टू कंजर्व रिसोर्सेज से भाई कुछ गड़बड़ है बाहर वेरिएबल्स ऐसा नहीं कि खाली खाना कम खाओ और चलते रहो तो आपका वेट लॉस हो जाएगा करेक्ट बहुत सो मच साइंस टू इट राइट हां इसमें तो और कंडीशंस लाइक पीसीओएस प्री डायबिटिक करेक्ट बहुत सारे और चीजें हैं फैटी लिवर ये सब और दे हैव देयर ओन compounding effect to Correct. how weight loss weight Correct. gain happens mental health overall mental how health. you feel about it every absolutely. day absolutely yeah. 
Uh, the research was done mm-hmm. uh, i would say couple of months into the research mm-hmm. so uh, because it was our first studio company itself so we mm-hmm. were also trying to understand what is the, the space right model, yeah. right mm-hmm. the right model mm-hmm. so he came in i would say after a couple of months of research but from there on uh, it really picked up mm-hmm. uh, so that was the process from a process standpoint mm-hmm. uh, i started talking to uh, mm-hmm. the studio team is what i realized here वो वाला एस्पेक्ट ना जिस डेप्थ में लोगों ने कवर किया है जिस डेप्थ में दे स्टार्टेड सपोर्टिंग अस इन बिल्डिंग इट आई मीन इट यू जस्ट यू नीड टू थिंक सेइंग यार यू डोंट नीड टू सेकंड गेस योरसेल्फ कौन सेइंग कि क्या है बिकॉज़ आपने बहुत सॉलिड बेस पे रिसर्च किया राइट सेइंग कि क्या प्रॉब्लम है कैसे सॉल्व हो रहा है व्हाट इज द वैल्यू क्रिएशन इन द सिस्टम uh is there a, a willingness from a consumer perspective mm. of looking at this mm. hai ki nahi hai kis kis level pe ho payega J- yeah. jab aap ye sare questions yeah. ek alag level pe research karte ho mm. dekhe aap koi startup karta na yehi sare question poochta hai lekin wo us depth mein nahi ghusta ha yeah. to jab aap andar ghus ke company chalane lagte ho na yeah. tab wo depth aap us samay question karte ho aur wo cheez yahan pe at, and at least in a space even where, before you start aa jata correct Achha. and with healthcare mm-hmm. you definitely need to do that kyunki yeah. uh, aur jitne bhi aapke consumer centric businesses hain mm-hmm. us mm-hmm. is depth mein technical nahi hota ha uh-huh. right to i think uh, it's it's definitely a value add mm-hmm. and uh, something which i will recommend if people are looking mm-hmm. to start in the healthcare space ki uh-huh. बात करो एक बार यार समझो देयर कुड बी समथिंग देयर हां तो स्मॉल एक्सरसाइज फॉर यू गाइस मतलब अभी जो जितनी जल्दी जितने ज्यादा नाम इस पे से बता सकता है अच्छा ऐसा दे ये हम एक्सरसाइज करेंगे करें स्टार्ट ठीक है तो वी विल स्टार्ट ऑन द काउंट ऑफ 1 2 3 ओके आमंड पंपकिन सीड अभी एक साथ कर लो खजूर डेट्स चलो एक आ गया उनका खजूर ये है ये कौन से सीड सीड्स है और ये बीज व्हिच इज नॉट जस्ट पंपकिन देयर इज पंपकिन सीड एज़ वेल एज़ इज वन मोर टाइप ऑफ सीड मगज बोलते हैं 6 हो गए आपका एक है अभी मगज कौन सा अच्छा आप खा के भी देख रहे हैं देयर इज एप्रिकॉट एप्रिकॉट भी है अच्छा इवन आई वांस फॉर ट्राई एप्रिकॉट है हां दिस लुक्स लाइक एप्रिकॉट नाउ आई विल सेड इट सो रादर दो तीन टाइप के बीज तो दिख गए भाई अमरंत इसके ऊपर ये अमरंत सीड्स क्या क्रैनबेरी बोलो इसको क्या है क्रैनबेरी शायद होगा हां सेवन टू चल रहा है स्कोर देख लो आपकी Now we have to imagine all of them are elevate now customers. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So who will do the most bargain out of the three? The most bargain. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the gentleman with the salt and pepper look. Acha. Abu, ye to mujhe nahi pata do. I think uh, kiska hai? You're talking about Namit, right? Yeah. So let's just uh, call Namit out. Why? Uh, None of us is eligible, by the way, for the program. Uh, we are on decently decent BMI. Okay. <laughs> Eligibility criteria also. Correct. 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 But okay. We were just saying. Imagine if they are customers. But Pankaj uh, doctor is. So he will not negotiate. But uh, who do you think? Uh, you know, out of the three, would actually uh, ask you for the most uh, cheat days? Hote hai na, hmm. Plan me. That we have to give the most cheat days. I mean, three of them. Hmm. कौन लगता है तीनों में से मतलब जब लगता है आई एम नॉट सेइंग यू नो देम सो मच बट हां ही नोस अस सो मच अच्छा ठीक है नाउ दैट दैट्स आल्सो गॉन इन द कैमरा नाउ द आंसर हैज टू बी प्रोबब्ली प्रोबब्ली पंकज बिकॉज़ ऑफ हिज हेक्टिक लाइफस्टाइल अच्छा वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर हिम टू फॉलो थिंग्स टू दैट लेवल 
now he's being safe that's the reason bhi bata deta hu theek hai that's okay, that's fair and now the third one is matlab wo to sabse easy hai ki transformation sabse zyada kiski hogi jaldi sabse yeah, easy sabse zyada transformation ha yeah. uh, if somebody comes i think it will be tushar okay because uh, the level of diligence he has in terms of following things <laughs> yeah. uh, is is awesome at a very different level oh yeah we know that yeah i have worked yeah. with him to know that as well yeah, yeah. so i think uh, probably mm. tushar okay basically yeah. amongst the three i am stingy <laughs> <laughs> others have good things about them ab yo dekh lo ab samne ho aap teenon ka lekin ek ek answer diya so can you drop me somewhere continue it with him later continue kar lo so good one good one uh, surya so I think uh, having said that, मुझे आपने जब बता रहे थे ना, I was just listening mm. that uh, now you have these centers in Maharashtra, in Bangalore, in Mumbai. Correct, Delhi. correct. But uh, with food capital here called Delhi, how how hard it is to get people to say no to butter chicken <laughs> and all the favorite things that they can eat here. See the uh, the beauty of the program that we have mm-hmm. is that the core idea is to anchor it just to your current diet. Okay. अब ऐसा भी नहीं है कि हाँ यार आप बटर चिकन खाना चाहते हो तो हम बोलेंगे नहीं बटर चिकन टोटली बंद हाँ, हाँ, शायद अब वो बटर चिकन का प्रिपरेशन में थोड़ा बहुत हम ट्विक करने बोलेंगे आपको थोड़ा हाँ, क्वांटिटी पे कंट्रोल करने बोलेंगे एंड देन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द काइंड ऑफ इम्पैक्ट इट हैज ऑन यू वी कैन फिगर आउट से टू वॉट एक्सटेंट डू वी से नो डू इट तो बिकॉज सी फूड इज ऑल्सो एन अमेजिंग सोर्स ऑफ प्लेजर फॉर पीपल राइट तो ये जो अगर आप लोगों को बोलोगे ना कि यार पतला कर देंगे आपको और बिल्कुल दुखी कर देंगे शायद पंद्रह दिन बीस दिन दो महीने लोग कर ले उसके बाद सस्टेन नहीं कर सकते तो वो तरीका ही गलत है आई थिंक It's it's more to do with a lot of processed food that we eat. Yeah. इतना जो बीच में मंचिंग चलता है लोगों के वो ज़्यादा हार्मफुल होता है. हाँ. आप लोग बोलते हैं भाई मैं तो हेल्दी स्नैक खा रहा हूँ मैं रागी का स्नैक खा रहा हूँ. हाँ हाँ. अब वो रागी आप प्रोसेस्ड रागी खा रहे हो. हाँ. प्रोसेस्ड. इतनी बारी वही खाए जा रहे हो तो वो भी ठीक नहीं है. आप खा सकते हो हाँ। रागी में खराबी नहीं लेकिन प्रोसेस्ड रागी का जो ग्लाइसेमिक इंडेक्स है वो हाई होता है अच्छा। वो एक्चुअली में आपको मतलब आपको सुनने में लग रहा है हेल्दी है हाँ। वो है नहीं अच्छा राइट तो देर आर एस्पेक्ट्स टू इट दैट पीपल नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एक बार समझ में आ जाए ना तो आदमी समझ ले सीख ले समझ ले क्या उसके लिए चल रहा है फॉलोइंग इट यार ऐसा कोई भाई भगवान ने बॉडी दी है तो मतलब ऐसा भी आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वाली चीज तो है नहीं ना नो इज इट लाइक अ मिथ लाइक व्हाट इज दैट वन फूड आई वाज गोना आस्क यू एनीवे बिकॉज़ यू मेंशन रागी आल्सो कि व्हिच पीपल थिंक इज वेरी हेल्दी बट होता नहीं है देखिए जैसे मैंने रागी का एग्जांपल दिया अब रागी में जो होल ग्रेन रागी होती है जिसका आप डोसा और चीला ये सब बनाओ वो बढ़िया है अच्छा लेकिन उसके अराउंड जो इतने सारे आप प्रोसेस्ड फूड खा लेते हो रागी के नाम पे सिंक ये बड़ा हेल्दी वाला है ये बड़ा ये एयर फ्राई किया हुआ है और ये और वो है वो सब मैं फिर गड़बड़ है ऑब्वियसली इट्स इट्स नॉट दैट गुड फील अच्छा अब देखते किसको याद आएगा ना अंदर ही दोस्तों है टाइमिंग But nice. this was fun to talk. Uh, Hope you fun. also had fun. Yeah, absolutely. Enjoyed. We actually were doing this also because we turned three recently. Yes. So I thought uh, nice. good way to celebrate with all the founders and VCs we know in our network. Yeah, you know, bring out their personal side as well. So thanks a lot for being no, on no. this podcast. No, no. Thanks for having we us. Hope this thanks was fun. Lot, yeah. <laughs> okay.